So this is the opening screen of Kafka Maker. So I'm going to go to new model and we're going to make this, uh, let me see, 200 I believe, 200 by 200. And we have this up maximum because we want a high quality uh, representation. We're working in millimeters. Really doesn't matter where we have the orientation, but I normally keep it in the middle for this type of application. So we press OK. And this is the 3D screen. 2D screen is here but we're going to be working solely in 3D and using some of the 3D manipulating tools. So we're just going to make our screen small and we're going to take this little 3D relief uh, model and we're going to drag and drop it into our program. We're going to enlarge now, we're going to make this a little bigger to nearly fill our screen there. And I'm going to move it up just by using the arrows on the keyboard. Just slightly like that. And I'm happy with that. And now we're going to paste it down by using the merge high and there we go so so as we can see better what we're doing I'm going to turn this uh, back plane off by using this tool here so now I can see just the 3d relief now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of or remove this um, spire then that pierces right through the middle of our relief and within the 3D modeling tools in Cavco Maker we can absolutely do that. So I'm going to zoom in by using the scroll wheel and just reposition it there like that and I'm going to open the tools and I'm going to go straight to the eraser. Now this top slider here will give you a, you know a larger or smaller area to work. If you notice here there's a, a sort of a ghosted or shadowed area underneath my cursor. So I can increase that to a larger area if I wish, but I want to be quite particular working like a smaller area, so a little bit bigger than that maybe. Strength, I want it 100% because I want to eradicate all of this to nothing. Uh, smoothness, yeah, 100%. So. I'm just going to be holding my left key down and I'm going to remove all of this. So I'm actually removing this now out of the entire relief then, shall we say. I'll just show you if I if I bring this down, I can actually just you know move a small amount of material or a shallower amount of material. If I bring this down, you see you, it's quite manageable. You can, you know, you can uh, alter it to suit whatever you want to do, but I want to get rid of this entirely. So just, just be careful when you're using this tool because, I mean, you don't want to really remove anything you know, you want to keep. So I'm going to zoom in a little better to this. So let's move this up and zoom in like that. 
So I'm going to go close to So I'm being quiet here because I'm concentrating. Sometimes when you're you know making these sort of type of of videos, uh, you you sort of concentrate and hard to try and uh, control the mouse, and sometimes you forget that you're you're actually sort of talking to people and making a video at the same time. Okay, so we've gotten rid of the top section. I will come back and revisit this and and you know make it tidier. So let's zoom in now to the bottom piece. And of course, as well as taking material away, I can actually lay material down. Uh, you know, and and repair a three D relief or even. You know, put an extra piece on if, you know, I wish. This is a, a very, very powerful program. As you can see. So, just remove this quickly. Obviously, you can work a lot quicker than this once you, you know, not sort of, like I say, concentrating on what trying to say. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make this very much smaller. And we're going to take the smooth this down a little, quite a bit actually. Sorry, the strength. And the oh, smooth this, I think we can keep up there. Let's just go in here and just take a little bit more away. Okay. Make this very sharp. And we're going to zoom right in because we don't want when we machine this, we don't want to. Oh. There we go. We don't want anything of this left at all. There we go. We can go a bit, um, a bit more, and a bit sharper, maybe. So you can completely eradicate it, and when you machine it, uh, it will be as if it was never there. I'm sure you can see that we're actually removing pretty well each indiv well pixel groups then we'll call it because if I zoom in even further you can see that we're actually dealing with pixels here of the picture and of course when we come out to a you know, a normal view, you can see that it's, it's totally gone. Uh, this up here, maybe just a possibly a little bit. Let's get rid of that edge there, like that. And up here. Okay. Of course, I'm doing this quite quickly to, you know, be within sort of a a reasonable time limit to make this video. 
but you know you can spend a bit more time with it okay so we've still got a bit of an edge here that we're going to um, remove just a little bit and we're going to smooth this I'm going to use the smoothing tool um, let's see how big is that that should be okay strength uh, down quite a bit I'll come back and Just want to smooth that a little. The underside I'm not going to. Okay, and we're going to go back to our erase tool. And so what I've done is I've broken that sharp line. Uh, I've just I've spread the material out actually. So now I shall remove that material that we just spread out and you will you'll notice it sort of blends into the rest of the, of the relief or what the relief should have been like okay let's just come up here very quickly like this okay that'll do okay so it's pretty pretty perfect actually that so now what we're going to do is we're going to save now this relief into our relief library so the way we do that oh, we better come out of this first so what we're going to do is go into relief we're going to left click okay so we're going to save the relief i'm going to save it in animals and we're going to let me see there's already i think uh there's already horses in there so we'll call this one simply and we'll save and we'll just check to see that it's gone into the relief library open we're in animals. And there it is there. A new relief in our clip art library. So we'll come out of that now. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today on how to bring a relief in to Kavco, how to remaster or alter the relief and put that new relief now into the relief clipper library. So please at the bottom of the video press like and subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed the video to come and watch another one of my videos. And just a reminder that underneath this video in the video description area, you will find a discount code for any of the Cavco programs. So thank you for joining me. And this is Roger Webb saying bye for now. <laughs>